In this video, we're going to use the first derivative test to find local extrema of an algebraic function. It says, use the first derivative test to find the location of all extrema for the function given below. Enter an exact answer. They give us f of x equals negative 2x over 7x squared plus 4. The first thing I'm going to do is find the derivative. So f prime of x is going to equal, and I'm going to write that u is equal to negative 2x. I'm using the quotient rule here. u prime is equal to negative 2. v is the denominator, which would be 7x squared plus 4. And v prime is equal to uh, 14x when I bring the 2 to the front and subtract 1 from that exponent. So let's use that quotient rule here. That would be u prime times v, so that's negative 2 times 7x squared plus 4 minus negative uh, 2x times 14x, all divided by v squared, which is 7x squared plus 4 squared. So that's going to equal, I'm going to box this off a little bit, that's going to equal negative 14 x squared minus 8 plus uh, negative 2x times, well, 2x times 14x would be 28x squared. So I'm going to have plus 28x squared all over 7x squared plus 4 squared. which is going to equal uh, 14x squared minus 8 divided by 7x squared plus 4 squared. Now I'm going to set this equal to 0. So I'm going to say 0 equals 14x squared minus 8 divided by 7x squared plus 4 squared. Now this function doesn't have any domain restrictions because I have this x squared piece in the bottom in the denominator. So no matter what I plug in for x, I'm going to get uh, a value that's not 0. So this will never equal 0 in the denominator. So I can kind of ignore the denominator then and just focus on the numerator. I want to find the zeros for the function. So I'm going to set the numerator equal to 0. So I'm going to say 14x squared minus 8 is equal to 0. We're going to add 8 to each side. So we get 14x squared equals 8. Divide by 14, we get x squared is equal to 8 over 14, which reduces to 4 over 7. I take the square root on each side, and I'm going to get x is equal to plus and minus. When I take the square root of 4, I get 2. So I have 2 over root 7. So I'm doing the square root of 4 sevenths, which will be 2 over root 7, which gives me plus and minus. Uh, if I rationalize that denominator, so I multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 7, I end up with plus and minus 2 root 7 over 7. So now we're going to do the first derivative test. So I'm going to mark negative 2 root 7 over 7, and I'm going to mark positive 2 root 7 over 7. And I'm going to plug in f prime of, I'm going to just use negative 10 here. That'll be fine. That'll be large enough. And then 0, and then 10. So I'm doing f prime of negative 10, f of 0, f prime of 0, and then f prime of positive 10. So I need to use this version right here. This is my f prime of x. So I'm going to plug that all in the calculator. So I end up with 14... Fourteen x squared minus.
minus 8 over 7x squared plus 4 squared. Now I'm going to plug in my values for this. So I'm going to plug in negative 10. So negative 10, store it as x. I get a positive number. So this is positive. I'm going to plug in 0. I get a negative number. And then I'm going to plug in 10. I get a positive number. So this tells me I have a max here and a min here. So I have a local max at x is equal to negative 2 root 7 over 7 and a local min at x equals 2 root 7 over seven.